What is happening, y'all? Welcome um, back. As you can see, he is nice and stuck. We're gonna let him out. And now we have to run on ahead. And essentially, I need to kill everything that could threaten him. Wow, that felt shitty. This is what you get for spamming. So I don't remember a ton about this guy, but what I do remember is that if he dies, his whole chain is just done. So, essentially, welcome to Babysitter Souls. I don't remember what I get out of his chain. I don't know if it's good. But I do know that letting an NPC die this early into our journey is a terrible idea. And despite that, he seems hell-bent on walking into all this stuff by the explosive barrels. Okay, maybe he's going to turn around. I like how he walked, saw most of the stuff was dead, and was like, this is no longer my problem. Even your edgelord walk, just going super slow. Broken sword, is that? Because I remember one of the... I was like looking up weapons. Trying to figure out what I wanted to, to mow down my enemies with. And I think it's... I don't know if it's Broken Sword or Broken Short Sword, but I know you can, uh... I think it was one of them you needed if you wanted to get the, uh... The Penetrator Sword, which... I probably won't use, because it's a dex weapon. But it is a really cool looking sword. It's actually the same sword that's being used, uh, in the thumbnail. No matter how... Is there a sink... For... The guy that's in the thumbnail for the series, that is the penetrator. Boss with the crazy long sword. Where are you going now? No matter how far, is there a single Yes, there is. He's right next to you. You are hellbent on going I don't know where. Where are you trying to go? We're just gonna follow him around with the swag walk. There's two bros on an adventure. I think he tries to make his way where I was going, but it's like his AI has like, like I think his AI is programmed to like look for and fight enemies. Uh, but since I'm killing all the enemies, I think the AI like looped and it's like no enemies here must be enemies in the other way. You know, what, if nothing else, I can get a head start on him and go kill the archers that will serve as a threat. I'm pretty sure he comes up and he's going to come this way. Placement for you? Oh shit, way up there. I don't know if I can target that one. I don't think I can. But I also don't see guy. See, yeah, I gotta make sure he's not goofing off real fast. Yeah, because I know he walks here. I think he passed back and forth until you break that. No, I don't know what he's doing. Fuck him. I'll leave him there. All I know is that if he's over there, he can't die. And if he can't die, that's that's uh, that's good. No death means I don't fail your quest. And eventually, when the world set is like reset and everything, you'll probably just teleport somewhere. Bolts. Those 
those hours spent playing Souls. They all prepared me for this. He... Hold up. Did he really not die? He didn't! What the shit? Why are you immune to gravity? Get out of here. I don't think there was anything else up here. Maybe that's why he's being goofy. Where are you at, dude? All the archers are dead. Are you still doing loops in this courtyard? Here, I'm somewhere. Okay. Piece of candy. I think he was he was probably programmed to run into that courtyard and fight all those guys and when I sniped them all from the window I th think that's what messed him up because this AI is looking for enemies that don't exist and since it can't find the enemy it's pathing back I don't know I'm not the programmer I'm just the guy that finds ways around bullshit <sighs> more fog I hate going through fog Isn't this the... I swear there's like a part where stuff wants to throw... Oh yeah, here we go. The boulders. Boulders. I swear it's like the boulders start falling down. Maybe not. It shouldn't have jumped at me, dude. Nah, I don't see anybody that's gonna start dropping boulders. I swear this was a boulder. Oh god, no, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Well, that worked out. Just get hit by the first one and stay on the ground. You know, thinking back, I probably could have just, like, punched the thing that was holding the boulders and caused them to all fall down. It's interesting, because, like, as, as I continue to play through, like, I have little spots of memory coming back about things that happen or things I can do. But it's, you know, it's not consistent. It's like, I think something happens with boulders, and then it's like, yup, you're about to get wrecked. That's what happens with boulders. You getting your ass beat. Like this bridge, this bridge with the amount of things here, this this bridge. Well, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, is that what I think it is? Did I just hear it? I'm pretty sure a dragon flies on and torches this whole bridge. Yep. Yep. Is it not gonna torch? Yeah, this is the dragon bridge. If this is the dragon bridge, then this has to be the, the shortcut. Because they wouldn't make you deal with a dragon bridge. No, oh, man, come on. Just take a nap. Just lay down. Yeah, lay down. Well, technically, you're more of a, a wyvern or a drake. You're not really dragon. Damn it, instant fucking death. <sighs> I wanna say there's a way to beat him early. Man, 
when you really get into it, man, Demon Souls is fucking brutal compared to the other Souls games. Like, legit, look at how far we've gone. And, I mean, we've been one shot. I mean, to be fair, we're, we're playing we're playing the, the cheeky magic class that can kill stuff from range, but, you know, one shot by the dragon, one shot by the black knight, and the only shortcut we've we've gotten so far is like, oh, here's a door. You can skip the super lengthy walk. That's it. Everything else, you're still doing it. Probably the most brutal thing is that, you know, you're, you're doing all of this without leveling up. And to be fair, it, it is... Um, you know, it is balanced around that. The game is balanced around someone being able to do- Oh, fuck, no. No, 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 no. The game is balanced around you being able to accomplish all of this without having to level up. But, that doesn't make it any less stressful, you know? You can know that the ship's gonna sink. It doesn't, uh, mean that you're okay with it happening. makes the whole experience like twice as stressful and because it's like I know that you know I got I got a lot of souls on the line right now like way more souls than I am comfortable losing at this early in the game and, I mean I know I, I kill the boss once we get past Phallix and you know I'll get a bunch of souls but still we are fighting past a bunch of things And everything in its mother wants to kill me. And I got a whole buttload of souls on the line. Gotta help him, which means... Damn it. Get out of here, Halberd man. But, at least it means, uh, dude bro has reset, and so he should properly, uh, make his way. We'll wait until he engages stuff. Cowboy and dude bro, going off to save the day, a cowboy and dude bro, they're doing things the only way. Killed all of them, dude, bro. Where are we going now? I wish I could, like, speed your ass up a little bit. <laughs> I'm going on a grand adventure to save the kingdom, but he can only walk at, like, a swagger walk pace. 
It's like I gotta look fucking cool while I'm saving the day, otherwise the princess doesn't want to bang me. Look, you can go get him. Look, he's low. Take him out. Yeah, look at you, man. You're a hero. All right, let's see. This is about where he got stuck last time. And it looks like he may still get stuck. No, no, no. Ah, oh, goddamn. He's going to path again. I've broken the boxes if he comes or doesn't come. That's none of my concern. I have souls on the line that I need to go get back. I want to say you can take the lower path and completely avoid messing with the dragons. Surprise. There's no words. I've braved all the dangers of the Boletarian Palace. Fought my way past all of the crazy guys with fire. Avoided all the things trying to kill me. Survived the first encounters with the boulders. Made it all the way back. Like I don't I don't even know what to say. I'm just I'm like Like, I'm salty, but I, I don't know. I feel like I just got fucked over. And I wasn't gonna, but you know what? Now, when I when I get a nice big boss soul, I'm duping me some 10,000 souls. I'm getting back my fucking souls. Fuck you, game. You wanna cheat? I'll cheat too. Chess game. You know, it just feels... I feel like I was robbed. Like dying to the dragon, all that shit, whatever. You know, it happens. One shots are... One shots are part of the experience. But that, that just felt... Oh, oh dirty. 
felt wrong. I feel like I've been personally slighted. After I overcame the, the Black Knight and the Great Demon. Where's he at? Is he actually gonna come now? No, whatever. He's being stupid. Where he's trying to go kill all of these things. He can kill them on his own. dragon. You know what? Fine. You want to chase me? Or you're dead. And you're dead. Have a nice day. Now really, if, if, if I want to be mad at anybody, it should be this dickhead. He's the one who made me drop all the souls in the first place. Hang on, is this not where I go? The fuck do I... Do I gotta go past the bridge with all the bullshit? Yes, I do. I want to say there's like an early fire shield you can get to just ignore him and grab all those treasures. Gotta be another way. I'm trying to remember. I don't think you're actually supposed to go this way yet. I know. While you're here, I'm gonna go steal all your fucking treasures. How do you feel about that? Probably don't feel very good about it, do you? I got mooped by a tail. 
I'm pretty sure that was the purple shield, though, that you need to just ignore him and be on your way. Yeah, flame shield, right? What's this thing? There's a... Uh, very effective against flame. Do I, does it show actual flame resist? I don't have enough skill to use this weapon. And within, without the skill, can I even... We'll find out what happens. past all this bullshit. I'll just two-hand the shield. It's probably a, uh, a lack of strength. Oh, man, this is... Actually, if it's strength, I'm pretty sure I picked up a ring that, like, boosts my strength or something. I don't know what it does, but I definitely picked up something called Ring of Great Strength for... I don't think I was killed by the dragon. I think I was killed by its little girlfriend. Die. Stop rushing at me. Raises maximum equip burden. Well, that's always nice to have this early in the game. Essentially, Howl's Ring. to help save his ass. I don't particularly want to, but at the same time I don't want his quest to be fucked. feel like I fucked up. No, oh, actually, that's right, he can't pass this. be so buggy if I come and do all the work for him. Right, so you beat that. Nothing else. Go over here and kill this shit real quick.
Alright, where are you at, buddy? I've cleared the path. Take the weirdest fucking pathing. Oh, this asshole. I'm half attempted to just like hit him and get him to chase me and see if that works. Yep, see, there's nothing down there. There's nothing down there, dude. Does that hurt? It's like my back step. It's like, haha. Ha. 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 I parry you. I don't think that's actually a parry. I don't know what it does. This is dude's last chance, though. If he doesn't come this time, after I've cleared everything and cleared the path, I'm leaving him here. I'm never breaking those boxes. You're here for the rest of your life. Come on, follow me. This isn't hard. We're going to go up here. It's like trying to escort a newbie player and he's like I don't know where to go we're gonna go here come on just go straight there's nothing in your way there's absolutely nothing in your way you're almost there I swear to God, he's fucking brainless. All right, well, leaving uh, the brainless asshole aside, gonna make it back to the dragon, and get our stuff. I mean, I guess I gotta, I have to run past the bridge. I mean, I don't see anywhere else I could go. some of that good grass she did. In the very least, I am loaded up on a lot of grass now, so that's certainly nice. Maybe if I... Sorry, magic was not working. I could roll these freaking balls to kill the dragons. The other guests wonder if I could just rent across the bridge before the dragon shows up. I mean, on the thing that has me concerned here is, you know, I've made it this far, and I got the shield that you're, you're meant to... My understanding, I think, is you would, you know, you'd lure the dragon to the bridge. You'd go back to where the dragon was. You would get the shit that the dragon can't guard, because it's over here, and then you would walk across the bridge with the fire shield. I feel like that that makes sense, you know? But at the same time, if I don't have the strength to do this, there's got to be something I'm missing here. fully dedicated that means I can at the very least I'm gonna get my souls and then we're gonna wrap this one on up because we are already well over the time that I'd like to spend in an episode but the constant death by a dragon oh yeah so that tail sweep killed me I survived the fire. Not only did I survive the fire, I survived the fire and I got all the goodies. 
Fucking you're fire. Can't touch me here, asshole. So we're going to close on now. Uh, the next episode, we'll figure a way to get past the dragon. And I will catch you guys then.